Hey guys, what's up? It's Joey for Digital DJ Tips, and in this video, I'm gonna walk you through your first day with Recordbox. Recordbox is Pioneer's music management software that lets you organize your library, create playlists, and export them to an external thumb drive. That thumb drive can be brought to a CDJ or compatible player, and the next gig that you're at, you just plug it in, and then voila, all of your songs are there. Now, while Recordbox may look like a traditional piece of DJ software like Serato or Tractor, make no mistake about it, you can't perform live with this. It's just a way for you to organize your music files. So in that sense, it's a little bit more like iTunes than, let's say, Virtual DJ. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to download Recordbox from the Recordbox website, how to install it in your computer, how to get your music files onto Recordbox, and how to transfer your playlists onto an external hard drive. So enough with the introductions. Let's get started on your first day with Recordbox. All right, now we're going to download Recordbox. So the first thing you should do is open your browser and head on over to recordbox.com. What I'm doing right now. OK, now that we're at the website, head on over to the Download tab and click on Download here at the drop down. You'll be brought to this menu. And then just click on this large Free to Download button. I'm using a Mac, so we're seeing free to download for Mac version 3.2.1, which is the latest version at the time of this video, which is June 2015. If you're on Windows, you're going to see a different button over here. It's going to say for Windows along with the current version. Uh, but if you don't see it, you can still download the installer over here at the bottom. Just uh, highlight the one that you need and left click. So for this one, we're going to use uh, the Mac version, of course. Let's just wait for that to finish downloading. Okay, since that's finished downloading, let's just go on over to our downloads folder. I'm going to open Finder. It's all Recordbox 321. You may have a different version depending on when you're watching this and when you download it, but it's going to have the same file name, install underscore Recordbox. So just double click on it. Installation will begin. Just click continue and follow the on screen prompts to install it on your system. And okay, once that's done, just close the installer. Go to your Applications folder, or if you're on a PC, go to Program Files, and then just look for the Recordbox 3 folder. Double-click on it, and double-click on the Recordbox 3 icon to launch the app. Initializing. All right, so the first time that you launch Recordbox, you're going to have this screen. If you don't have a Recordbox account yet, uh, you can make one over here. Just click on this button, register for a Recordbox account. It's free, just like the software. And since I've already registered before, I'm just going to type in my details over here. You're going to be brought to this Kuvo screen. If your club or the bar that you're playing at has a Kuvo system, you can take advantage of that because it broadcasts the artist names and song titles that you're playing during your DJ set. So if you want to make uh, the titles of those songs public, you can click on this button over here. If you want to make it private, just go ahead and click the right button. I don't have Kuvo in my club, so I'm just going to skip this right now. All right, so this is the main record box interface. As you can see, it looks like standard DJ software. You've got your player over here at the top and your music library here at the bottom. And of course, I still don't have any songs because I haven't imported anything to my record box library. To do that, yes, yeah, so if you want to add some files, all you have to do is head to Finder or Windows Explorer, go to your music folder, and then choose the files that you want to add into the record box collection. So let's say I want to use these. Five, I just drag them over here and Recordbox imports them. Actually, just uh, drag them over here and see what, that, what that's like. You can play it if you want. You can set your uh, loops and you can also sort of um, check out your hotkeys over here. Uh, you can add a hotkey over here if you want. Add one over here if you want one at the end of the track. You can do that. You can also get tracks from your iTunes. So just click on this iTunes uh, icon here over at the playlist tree. Check out playlists. All your playlists come out. Or you can look at all the tracks here. And there you go. Now, if you want to import it into your record box collection, all you have to do is highlight the ones you like. And then let's drag them over there. And then record box will import them for you and do the analysis just like it did before when I dragged some files from my Finder. So yeah. All right, so now that we've added some songs into our collection, let's try making a playlist out of them. So go to Playlists over here in the drop down, and 
click on this plus sign here, create new playlist. Then let's say my name, Joey Santos. Okay. Okay, so now that you've got your playlist here, you can transfer these songs over to your thumb drive. And to do that, all you gotta do is head on over to the sync manager over here, the lower left, left click it to launch it. Just yes, synchronize playlists. The first column here on the left side shows you all your iTunes playlists. This one are your playlists in Rekordbox, I only have one right now. And these are all the playlists I have on my USB drive at the moment. So if I want to transfer the playlist that we made, all I have to do is click on this box here, tick it, and then click on the arrow, which synchronizes this playlist with the thumb drive. Okay, you can close that now. And as you can see, it's exporting the files over to my thumb drive and can verify if the operation was successful by checking Sync Manager again. And there you go. My playlist is already on the thumb drive, ready for it to be played on a CDJ2000 or an XDJ1000 or any other compatible media players that Pioneer has out in the market. Okay, so that's it for this trading video. I hope you guys liked it. And if you did, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and to check out the full trading article over at the Digital DJ Tips website. My name is Joey. Thanks again for watching you guys. I'll see you all next time.